It's food o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to be doing something I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's a review of McVitie's Family Circle. Now I believe these are only available around Christmas time, so probably October onwards in the UK. Uh, there's the selection on the back. I already have my, my tea. So this is going to be the second of our Dunkin' tea Dunkin' videos. There's an echo in this room for some reason. Where it's coming from? Blow my neck. Ah, you've got to pull that. Blow my neck. Isn't there amazing? You can't even open a box of biscuits these days. Right. So straight in, there's the paper. We've got some short crusts. Some chocolate stick things, some more shortcuts, chocolate digestives, which are my all time favourite. Bourbon biscuits, cookies, hobnob type thing. Probably is a hobnob. Jammy, oh no, that's a, yeah, that's a regular digestive. We've got a jammy kind of thing going on. Whoa, look at that. More shortbread biscuits and some custard creams. So without further ado, should we do the non-chocolate Dunkin' first? We start with the... So it looks like they've... Let me put this down for a second. Let me put it over here. They've added two different types of... Or the same shortbread biscuit. But in two compartments. So it's a bit like... Um, I feel a bit short-changed a little bit. There's no chocolate or jam on it. Right, here we go. First one dunked. Mm. I'm on a bit of a diet. I've gone two days without eating sugar. And this is like, whoa, this is like amazing. So excuse me if I get really, really excited about just a shortbread biscuit, but that, after no sugar for two days, that is really tasty. January, see the things we do in January. Super tasty. When it dunks in the biscuit, it goes all kind of like sticky and mushy. Then the bit you put on your finger is still crispy and crunchy. So you've got this mixture of, of this creamy texture in your mouth, this buttery kind of sugary texture, and then the crispiness of the bit on the end. Oh, it's just lovely i'm a tea dunker i'm a tea dunker probably when i'm not on a diet at least four times a week i'll buy packs and packs and packs of digestive biscuits 11 o'clock this is my tea mug i use hence all the chips and the knocks and the smacks on the other side and i'll just dunk there's about half a liter of tea there right next one Another, this is another short bready type thing. So I think these are three pound. I mean, three pound for, I mean, shortbread biscuits. You can buy them for 30p if you go to places like Home Bargains. That one is called a Rich Highland Shorty. And the other ones we had was just a shortcake. That was more crispy and crunchy. Definitely a more crispy, crunchy taste. But yeah, there's a lot of biscuit here, but a lot of shortbread as well. A lot of 30p shortbread going on. What should we go for next? Have we got through all of the... Is that a Nice biscuit? Yeah, here we go. Remember the Nice biscuits? You don't, you don't really see them so much anymore. Nice or nice. They used to be covered in sugar. Not so much anymore. So the first three biscuits so far, that one's got a little bit more 
like a syrup in it, like a like a golden syrup flavour, but very similar. They're all kind of like short bready type biscuits. So again, thirty p in the shop for a big bag. Should we start going a bit? Oh, let's go with the. Oh, I love these. I think that's a hobnob. Is that a hob hobnob? It's called a crunchy oat biscuit. Here we go. Mmm. Oh. Just delightful. Absolutely delightful. Oaty, nutty, kind of biscuity. Sweets, crunchy, but something soft with the tea. Oh, it's just bliss. Two or three days without sugar. This is absolute bliss. It really is. Mm. Um, but I wanted to get them done. They were sitting up. Do you know when you, you I put all my Christmas stuff on the top of the worktops over there? And when you're on a diet and you've still got stuff from Christmas. It's, it's really difficult to diet in January because who hasn't got stuff left over from Christmas? You think I can't waste it, I can't throw it out. It's there and all of a sudden the diet's, the diet's gone, the diet's broken. What I plan to do with this selection of biscuits is eat, eat, eat one from each and then hopefully give them to the kids and let the kids eat them. I'm a good dad, yeah? Um, this is a regular digestive. Maybe I should have done that before the OT digestive, but here we go. See, that's what I'm used to. Digestive biscuit. I'll go through half a pack. Dunk, dunk, dunk. I'll, I'll dunk half a pack easily a day. Easily, without a shadow of a doubt. Four times a week, maybe. <laughs> Love them. It's my staple diet. I worked in Asda for a while, a few years back. And we opened up a new store in Barry. And I opened a new store with the company. And the management come up and they were just telling stories about kind of like what sold the most. And they said they've never opened a store in the UK that, that, that sells so much biscuits. So it's like a life hack, really. It's like, how do you eat cheaply and fill yourself up? And the, and the very quick answer to that is digestive biscuits and a cup of tea. You can, you can, I, I can go, I can eat a bit of toast for breakfast. I can then eat maybe 11, 12 o'clock, half a pack of digestives. That'll take me all the way through to tea time. No problem at all. Life hack, life hack. We live in a, like a, a um, Barry town is the home of Gavin and Stacey. But it used to be the second deepest dock in the world. It used to export a load of coal out of here. That all dried up in the 1970s and 80s. Um, and we're basically left with nothing. So everybody's eating digestive biscuits. Um. <laughs> Never mind. So I, I'm gonna do choc chip cookie. No, I'll leave the chocolate till last. Let's go with one of these custard creams. I mean, I'm not just picking on my own town of Barry. Um, it's like it all over the UK. There's places where they used to build boats. There's places where they used to fish. And they're just decimated places now. Custard cream. Two short bready type biscuits with a cream filling. I know what's making a noise. It's got to be that. That's the only thing that's been out, left out from yesterday's cooking. It's the colander. Let's talk loud. No, it's still happening. There's an echo in the room. Yeah, uh, custard cream, creamy, buttery, middle in between two bitter short bread type biscuit things. Very nice, very sweet, very lovely. I'm not, funnily enough, I'm not filling up yet. Choc chip cookie, oh, one of the all time favourites. Mm. That just disintegrated into nothing in my mouth. 
interestingly that's quite salty yeah interestingly more of a kind of it was just it just whoosh, like vanished in my mouth that did it just I think it turned into liquid as soon as it hit my mouth um so a salty liquidy sweet chocolatey biscuit quite nice but not the best not the best should we move on to the to the big guns now should we do a bourbon cream no let's do one of these smiley face things What are they called? I bet they're called a smiley pet face thing. Happy faces. Happy faces, there we go. For all the kids out there at Christmas. Mmm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Jammy. Creamy. Buttery, sweet biscuit ah oh, just melts in your mouth just terrific that was amazing it's just like little sugar hits i reckon i'm doing this at 10 to 10 in the morning i've not had anything else to eat i reckon i'm going to be hit by about 11 12 o'clock by this massive kind of sugar dip i'm going to be starving hungry that was lovely right bourbon cream let's do the bourbon cream next from the pack we're making our way through this quite quickly aren't we so comments in the comments box, are you guys dippers? The bourbon cream is Britain's answer to the Oreo. Very similar biscuit. Uh, it's just Oreo has some fantastic marketing and bourbon doesn't have very <laughs> successful marketing. Um, it's just what the Americans do great, I suppose, is to market, to push what they love and collaborate it into different biscuits. Um, the kids over here go nuts for Oreo. And if you put an Oreo next to a bourbon biscuit, there's really not that much difference. And it's just, yeah, it's just clever marketing. It's clever marketing. I wish, I wish the bourbon cream all the very best in the future. Maybe they can sort out that marketing and, and give it a bit of a push. Right, I think we got two to go. I'm gonna do the, the, the very lovely, this is a chocolate digestive. This box is, yeah, quite, quite, I've changed my mind on the value. There's loads of these biscuits here for three pound. Mmm. Digestive is nice and dry. Didn't take too much of the liquid from the tea. So I've gone over to almond milk. It's part of my diet. Totally ruined it today, but I had to review these because they were just staring at me on the, the kitchen cupboards. But I've gone over, the, I've dropped milk. So I'm drinking almond milk. I've tried soya i've tried unsweetened almond unsweetened soya almond i've tried oat oat is my favorite the oat oat cartons unsweetened oat <laughs> pardon me is probably the most healthiest and let's be frank i'm a beer reviewer first and foremost the oat is something that i'm very used to in beer so so i've been drinking oat milk uh, as, instead of milk but that digestive biscuit was superb. The chocolate was lovely. The, the dryness of the biscuit, the crunchiness, it was just great. And then last but not least, what's this called? A milk chocolate finger. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Get it in there. Mm. That's lovely, but I'm done. My kind of... I have this kind of like sensor in my mouth, like a built-in brain sensor that says, that's enough. 
that's enough chocolate, that's enough crisps. It's that sickly feeling you get. A bit like when you've eaten two Easter eggs and you're like, oh, I can't eat any more. That sensor in your brain that says that's enough. As soon as I finish that chocolate finger, weirdly, it was like, yeah, that's enough, that's enough. Um, so what was my favorite? My last video was, check it out. It was a slow burner, but now it's doing really well. Um, top 10 Dunkin' Biscuits in the UK. Or the world's top 10 Dunkin' Biscuits, I think I called it. Something like that, top 10 Dunkin' Biscuits. Have a look. Um, I can't remember what one now, because I did it over a year ago. But that is flying now. Everyone's watching that video. It's a really, really popular video. Um, so I'm hoping for some success with this video now. With the... The old family circle. Um, what was my favourite? It's a it's a sm it's a swap up between the um, the smiley face. That was just bloody lovely. And the digestive biscuit, the chocolate digestive. I think I'm going to go with the chocolate digestive. That was just bliss. That is like the undefeated champion. Uh, well, there is a there is a better biscuit out there I would say chocolate hobnobs <sighs> chocolate hobnobs uh, easily for me the best biscuit in the world amazing um, comment tell me what you think tell me what your favorite is out of this box tell me if you like the old family circle it's been around a long time it's been around since I was a kid family always had family circle and it's just passed down the generation always it's always in this household it always seems the last thing to open um but because it's one of the things that i pick up it's one of the things that have always been in the house at christmas with me growing up um 30 years ago 35 years ago family circle always remember it it'll always have a special <coughs> little special place in my heart um I'll always keep that fire burning with the kids, get them to eat these family circles now. And hopefully that continues. The, the, the kids, the generations going forward will enjoy McFitty's family circle. And we don't see this brand die away. Because too many of the good stuff's gone. But I've heard a rumour that Watts have brought back flaming Hot and barbecue beef. So we'll be reviewing them soon on the channel. What's it? Look out for that video. <coughs> sorry <clears throat> please comment if you like the video please subscribe it really helps us give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers